So hello guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll cover this amazing lab. So simply click on Start Lab, and here you have to open the Cloud Console Incognito window. Now, if you're completely new to this channel, do like the video and just subscribe the channel. Now here, if you get any kind of pop-up, just click on I agree and agree and continue, and I understand like this. Now the first step is that we have to enable two APIs. Okay, come over here, and here you can see database migration and service networking. Copy it. Open the API and services and click on library. Okay, you have to click on library. Do not worry if you make any mistake. You have to just follow. Like this, you have to open the library. And here, paste the name of the API like this. Select this API. And just enable it. Also, just open the library again. Copy the second API name. Like this, you have to copy. Okay, carefully copy it. Paste it. Hit enter. Select this one, the networking API you have to select and simply click on this enable option. Okay, you can see here, you have to click on this enable option. Once you have done all these things, we'll move forward to the next step of this lab. Basically, first of all, we'll open the VM instance for copying the internal IP and then we have to create connection profiles and all these things. So here, just follow as I'm doing. So from here, you have to just right click open in a new tab and here just type migration or database you have to select database migration the first thing we'll be doing here is creation of the connection profiles so here you can see connection profiles option is here on the left side so you have to click on it okay now this lab takes time so i'm just making you aware to just if you are not free try to complete the lab later on but it will require at least 20 to 25 minutes so just wait like this okay now connection profiles you have to click on create profile okay here you can see create profile option is here click on it so it will take some time to open now here on the earlier tab open the vm instance because we'll be requiring internal ip now here the type of the connection profile will be from source database engine will be my sql always check the lab instruction now connection profile name carefully copy make sure there is no extra space or dot over here now host ip will be the internal ip copy it like this cross verify whether they have mentioned or not so yes it's internal only paste it host name and pass is here so just copy it carefully and by mistake if you make any space you can just use the backspace to remove the extra space password is here now update the region you always check the region as per the lab instruction in my case it is different in your case it will be different now simply click on create it will take few seconds only basically the connection profile does not take more time here so now once it is successfully done you have to come to the migration job page and here you can see create migration job you can check the score for task number two so you have got the score if you are unable to get the score wait for few minutes and try again now here just name the job and the engine will be this mysql now here update the region now here we have to select the job type as continuous so just select it now click on save and continue just wait till it gets saved now here connection profile we have created just now a connection profile i hope you remember the name we have to select that thing only from this drop down so how we'll select first of all just click on this you can cross verify that the name is this only click on save and continue save and continue it will just save okay it will take few seconds to just save after that you have to see that we have to update the instance name and id now here update the instance id and the pass over here make sure there is no extra space and here you can see we are unable to select this 5.7 how will you be able to select you have to change the enterprise enterprise plus to enterprise then you have to you will be able to change it now here you can see the zone here we have to use zone and then just select a single zone and from here just select whichever is mentioned over here lab instruction okay you can see here now here just select the public ip also and allocate and connect this will take few minutes so wait for it Meanwhile, if you want to complete other laps of the arcade games, you can check the playlist and complete it. Also, do subscribe the channel and do comment down below if you face any issue.
so finally it is successfully connected now you can see here we have to update the machine type also so update it like this update the size also and then click on create and continue and create destination and source now here we have to update the connectivity method to vpc peering now here just select default now this will take 10 to 15 minutes so you need to wait for it so just wait till it gets completed then you will configure the basically connectivity method and just initiate the next steps so finally here you can see it is successfully created basically our instance has been successfully created now what we have to do we have to first of all remove this unwanted pop-up and then just configure and continue how we have to do let me show you do not worry a single thing if you are following this video then you will surely get 100 out of 100 of full score on this lab so just complete it now from here click on test job and once you get a green tick you can move to the next step okay you can see after that we have to start the job once the job is started you have to click on this second option create and start job now it will initiate and start the job okay so this will also take some time so wait for it one more important thing i wanted to share that many of you are asking can we complete the skill badges so yes you have time till december to complete the skill badges if you're lacking any points you can just complete it so it's starting wait for it to get updated to running it will again take some time for how much time maybe five minutes maybe 10 minutes so just wait now if you come to the lab instruction and try to check the score chances are there you may get the score and if you're not getting the score wait for some time now here basically we have to connect the my sql instance and in the cloud shell and then we have to just enter some of the data over here so how we will do it do not worry everything will be covered on this video now from here you have to open the cloud sql so from the search box you can just open the cloud sql you can see currently it's running so just type the cloud sql right click open on a new tab and basically you have to activate the cloud shell side by side so just stay tuned here you can see you have to click on this okay so here you can see we have to just connect the instance and then we have to just authorize it also so here you can see we have to activate the cloud shell by clicking on it after that you have to click on continue and authorize yourself let me show you how you have to do it I am just increasing the font size over here now just copy this command over here and you have to hit enter now here one more important thing I wanted to share basically it will ask for the password okay now many of you are worried that we are unable to paste the password password is not visible here by default the password won't be visible you have to just paste it and hit enter okay you won't be able to see that text because it is a secret code and it cannot be open okay so you have to you can see here we have to enter now the password so we have to come to the lab instructions and from there we have to just select this password select it paste it and hit enter you can see the password is not visible now just create this data basically update the database add tables and just sort it like this you have to do it now you have to check the score if you have got the score then only you have to exit okay now here many of you will make one kind of mistake what kind of mistake you will make that you will run this directly on the cloud shell first of all let me exit you will run directly on the cloud shell and when you will run it you will get this kind of error why you got the error because we have to run this in the ssh session okay we have to run it in ssh when the vm instance okay so come to the vm instance page you can see this down arrow click on view g cloud command copy it come over here paste it and hit enter now you have to type y hit enter again twice you have to hit enter once you see this page basically this like this screen output you have to just paste it and then paste the password now you'll be connected to the sql and then you have to just proceed all the things okay carefully copy everything 
just paste it like this and then you have to add one by one after that you have to just see this thing okay now just type exit and hit enter now run this and then just add the pass over here wait for it to get connected i repeat the password won't be visible over here you have to just paste it and hit enter because it is a secret thing okay cannot be exposed publicly so you need to understand the way we complete the lab and this was the in-depth tutorial so just follow and wait for this to get completed and then we'll paste the password now time for pasting the password come to the lab instruction and from there only you have to just copy it so just come over here select it paste it and hit enter now just run one by one we have to interact with the database query the records and then sort it so like this we have done check the score then only hit exit okay one more important thing lab takes time to update the score so if you are facing issue just wait for some time now here the last task we have to promote it so here you can see a promote option is here you have to click on it and just click on promote now this will take sometimes it may take 5 to 10 minutes sometimes it completes early so you have to wait for some time till it gets completed okay the status will change to complete okay currently it will show promotion in progress or promotion but once it says that completed then only you will get the score so just wait for some more time so after four minutes is showing the status as completed you will come to the lab instruction and check the score and if you are not getting the score wait for two to three minutes because the promotion takes time after that you will be able to get the score do not worry other remaining lab courses basically the other lab basically the arcade games and trivia games are all available on the channel you can check it out okay so you have to come to the lab playlist and check it so this is how we completed the lab do like the video and subscribe the channel guys thank you have a great day ahead